Welcome to the journey of love and light. This is your 2023 general reading, Leo. Leo, this is a general reading, as I said, so it may or may not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I've pulled a card for every month of the year, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter. And we'll just get started right away. Uh, I ask that if you like this reading, that you make sure and hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel so you can learn about um, readings in the future. I appreciate your support. Here we go. So Leo, starting off the month of January, it's the lost card. And what I'm seeing is really what I feel like is that you're looking back at 2022 and you cannot believe that it's gone. Like that 2022 just got away from you. Like there were some things that you wanted to accomplish in 2022 that you didn't get to. There were, you know, people that you wanted to see, things that you wanted to um, accomplish. Again, I, I hear that again. Um, and I think that, you know, you are sensing a, a bit of a sadness that you didn't get all that done in 2022. But know that if it didn't get done in 2022, it wasn't meant to be done in 2022 because you are at a new start, fresh start today, you know, whatever day you're reading this or watching this, um, you have a chance, like there's like the sun on the horizon. It's like the sun is going to rise again. There's going to be a, a new day. So know that there's no need to stay stuck in this energy of loss. Um, or even if you did lose something that, you know, was significant, like you might've lost a person, maybe there's been someone leave your life. Just know that, you know, that they're always with you if that's the case. And, um, you know, you can, yeah, and, you know, trust that, that, you know, if you speak to them in, you know, real time that they are right there with you. Um, but, um, I sense that, you know, just mainly, you know, let go of 2023, 2022, come on into 2023, know that, you know, uh, there's going to be new opportunities and especially this card here for, um, the, uh, February month of February, you have this two earth here. I see here, um, this childlike innocence is what I'm sensing here. So like there's going to be you know, uh, a sense of fun, a sense of excitement and adventure coming in uh, to the, the year once you are able to let go of, you know, the fact that 2022 is gone, you know, whatever you've lost is, is you know, kind of out of, it's like out to sea is what I'm hearing. It's like, <clears throat> you see how in this card here that this ship has gone out to sea well it's there's here's the boat it's still out to sea but see it's not that far out of reach so it, like whether or not like i said if this was a situation a person uh, or a, a goal it's not that far out of reach it's still just it's still just right there um and even like like i said if it's a person that's passed on they're still just right there um and you know these maybe butterflies you know even like they symbolize someone who's you know passed and that you know their presence in your life so that's that, that's what I'm being told here. So know that you're going to have a choice to make in February, uh, but it's it's going to be a choice. It's going to uh, you know bring you back to a sense of that joy that you uh, experienced as a child. Um, in in March, I have here that waking in the line, and this also could be uh, Leo energy. And that's just you, <laughs> actually. That's you because this is your reading, Leo. Uh, so you are going to then you know really assume your you know, um, seat on the throne, uh, by March. So like whatever you've lost, you know, whatever, uh, that you are saying goodbye to from 2022, you know, in February, you've gotten like yourself back in balance. You are back on track and you know, you're moving forward. Um, and I'm hearing fiercely, you're going to be moving forward fiercely. And, you know, I, I see that, you know, for some of you, you could even potentially be a celebrity or you could be, um, uh, you know, gaining notoriety in some way, like, you know, you're above the average, you're not just the average, you know, person, like you have, uh, a, um, kind of some extra flair to you is what I'm hearing is what I'm seeing. And this is also, um, you know, like the end of a cycle and the beginning of some new cycle. So I sense you're coming into your, your next level, like you're leveling up in March, um, Leo. And then for April, we have um, the vast universe. And so this is saying that, you know, once you level up, you know, there's just no telling what you can create because, you know, it's all about you creating your future, you know, through your thoughts, through your actions, through your words, through your, you know, through just, um, you know, your belief that it can be true. And so that there's an unlimited amount of possibilities um, for you in uh, the new year um, to create, you know, just magnificent 
um, um, situations, uh, events, what I'm hearing. And, um, you know, just, just be in a, in a space of, you know, uh, like, vastness is you know from this vast of the universe but in the space of like just no limits is what i'm hearing there's no limits to the possibilities for you leo um uh, as you go into um the month of april and then the month of may you're showing up again and you're reading with the strength card you know you have you're just gonna you know like you know success is not once and done and you know in the month of may that you're just gonna keep progressing forward but just know that um you know that perseverance and and, and uh what I'm, i i want to say um consistency is going to pay off and that you've always got you know someone with you like I, I don't know you might have a partner that's always behind you um or you might actually have like you know a guardian angel that's always with you but in but i do sense that you know you are destined like it, it's it's like it's in the cards you know that you are destined for greatness and you know you're walking through um that um portal um in the month of may um and in the month of June, um, yeah, like once you walk through that portal, it's like, you know, this is uh, 11, this is 11 also, 9 and 2 is 11. So you're still, as you're walking through that portal in, in the month of June, you know, it's just going to awaken like uh, new ideas, new opportunities, new senses, new understandings in your life. I mean, it's going to be pretty amazing, Leo. So I say, you know, mark this video and when I'd love to hear about it when you come, when you get to that place do you come back and tell me about it um and in the month of july you're going to be really uh you might be planning a trip a vacation abroad or you might just be planning um you might be planning some home home renovations landscaping or something like that in july as well but i do see that there is going to be something that you know you are putting your touches on is what i'm hearing you know you're putting the final touches on it uh in the month of july and um in and in the month uh, it might be a garden or something or, or a yard like you're getting a yard ready because in the month of um uh August, I have the four of fire here. And this is, again, your energy, Leo. You're really showing up in your reading today. And this is, I love it. I love it. It's, it's confirmation. Um, you're going to have something to celebrate. And what I'm sensing, this feels like like a, a kind of a party in the backyard to me for some reason. So maybe this in July, you're going to really be doing some renovations. You're going to be building a deck or something. You're going to be improving your house, painting, something like that. Um, but in uh, August, you're going to have like something to celebrate. People are going to be over. You're going to be having fun there's going to be um a lot of um you know happiness and contentment but it's really going to be because you know because of this growth and because of you really assuming um you know your belief system in a way that it's it's manifesting into you know the material world um and, but after all, kind of all this work and all this really forging forward and whatever, you know, effort and, uh, you know, the energy that you've put into being around your family and friends and, you know, people around you in, in the first part of the summer, you know, by the end of summer in September, you're going to need to to kind of um, go back into solitude and spend some time with just Leo and, you know, really this taking a deep breath is, you know, kind of about, you know, meditation and going inward, but maybe for you, you know, going inward is, you know, shooting hoops or it's, it's, um, you know, uh, reading a book or watching something on television that you really are not watching, but you're just like, you know, it's in the back of your mind while something else is happening for you. But no, you know, it's going to be time in September to, you know, sort of wind down a little bit and make sure that you're recharging your because at the beginning of the fourth quarter uh, in the month of October I see here that there's going to be something that you're going to be recognized for this great achievement card here says that um, there's going to be um, you know some sort of a celebration some sort of a get-together some sort of I, I feel like it's like almost like the Academy Awards or you know like some kind of award banquet um, you know some something like that that is going to happen and in at that maybe it's a graduation even um, or a promotion or you know so, something that there's going to be some sort of a where well, I see those round tables where there's a lot of different people eating you know together and and there's like someone on the stage talking about a certain situation so that's going to happen in the month of October and um in the month of November I feel like Leo this is going to put you in a 
a really a heart space. Like, you know, you're usually super fiery and, you know, um, quick witted and not very emotional, but because of whatever accolades and whatever like realities and looking back on all this growth that you've had in the, in the year of 2023, that you're really going to, um, be, um, in a place of, you know, um, in a heart space in, in November, like we're going to really feel happy, really going to be, um, you know, having a lot of compassion and a lot of love, uh, for someone in your life, even if it's a love for yourself, like maybe you're finally, you know, holding up the cup, you know, like you finally recognize yourself as, you know, the, the royalty that you are, uh, in the month of November. And then the final card uh, for um, the uh, year of 2023 for the month of December for you, Leo, is this uh, beautiful uncaging. And I, I see here, see, look, if you look at this, like the energy of your card here, the waking in the line, this here is, I, it is reminiscent of the same energy to me. And what I feel like is that you might be opening your heart and I see that there's like, there's like a being here. Like almost like a, like a, I don't know, like an angel or a, gu a guardian angel or something. It's like there's somebody guiding you to truly open up your heart in December. Like, so maybe that's it. Maybe you're going to fall in love in, in November, Leo. Like, and I know that Leos are like not that all gushy-wishy about things, but I feel like that you're going to maybe fall in love in, in um, November and Spirit's telling that you in December that you're going to need to, to, you know, unlock your heart and to let somebody in uh, into your life. Um, you know, and it, it could be where it's like not not even uh, about a romantic situation but it's maybe it's just like letting someone into your life uh, so that you um, are able to you know express with your heart and and you know some of that emotion and not always uh, you know all that fire um, that Leo is is so widely known for so Leo I hope that that was um, helpful for you as you um, uh, start into your journey you know or whatever point you're at in the journey in 2023 um, I wish you nothing but the best on your journey of love and light peace and blessings